Hey, Taryn, how are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, Taryn, we know why this would make sense for the Bills, but why did this make sense for you? Why was this something that you wanted to get done? I I love Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? Um, They treat me like family here, and um, I've loved the guys I've played with. I've loved the guys that they've brought here. So, um, I mean, and we've been right in it every single year, you know. So, just want to continue getting – get past that point, you know what I'm saying, and and, and get and get to that, that that Super Bowl. What does it mean to you to be part of maybe this kind of new wave of guys who have been here for a while but now will continue on to in this chapter? You know, we've seen some turnover this year. Now you're one of the guys who's been around. You're, mm-hmm. you're one of the older guys. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a new opportunity for me. Uh, I have to be more vocal uh, this year, and, and I'm expecting to do that uh, a lot, so – Whatever that uh, whatever that role leads for me, then, then that's what I'm going to do, um, whatever it takes. Awesome. Thanks, Taryn. Congrats again. Appreciate it. Hey, Taryn, uh, congrats on the deal, man. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Um, we've talked so much over the years about, you know, just your level of play and maybe the, the lack of respect uh, at times that you've gotten – there's not much more respect than you can get than being the highest paid nickel corner in the league. I mean, what does that feel like? Uh, I mean, it's special. You know what I'm saying? I'm so thankful. Uh, I can't even put it into words, honestly. Like, I'm just I'm just happy for this opportunity and, and want to get going. You know what I'm saying? Help help the guys that are going to be new in, new coming in and, and help us win. You know, Matt talked about some of the turnover and, you know, potentially, obviously, Jordan's now in Miami and then Micah. Uh, still uncertainty there. What's it going to be like from your perspective to not have those, you know, obviously Tredavious, who you've been very close with over the years, to not have those guys there? Um, it, I mean, it's going to be tough. Uh, it's going to take, take some time, but uh, that that's what OTAs is for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get in with a new group of guys, help us uh, fellowship with each other and, and just get to know each other better. And that way it'll translate on the field. Um one of the first tweets that came on my, my timeline was Josh Allen retweeting the news of your deal twice. What's it like to have that kind of support for a guy that doesn't get on social media very much makes his feelings known about you getting this new deal. I I mean, it makes me happy. (laughs) It makes me happy. Um, Obviously he's an incredible player. So just, just having a guy like that to back me is, is, is huge. And he's a, he's a big reason why uh, our team has been so successful the past years. Thanks a lot, Taryn. Congrats again. Thank you. Hey, Taryn, what's up, man? Congrats. How you doing? Good, man. Good, man. Good. Sure you're having a a pretty good day yourself there, huh? I'm having a great day. Awesome, man. (laughs) Last two guys both talked about the the turnover and the guys were missing. And I think you were pretty fortunate to come into a time when Micah was there, Jordan was there, and Tredavious were there. So a lot of guys you could pick their brains and learn from. Is there a lesson or maybe a way they went about teaching you to where now that you're the teacher in the room where you're thinking, Boy, that was great. I want to make sure that when someone asks me, I want to do that for them. Uh, I feel like just how level-headed they stayed. You know what I'm saying? When when things were bad, which honestly wasn't often, they stayed the exact same as when things were good. You know what I'm saying? The consistency is the key, I feel as though, you know? And just making sure that I stay consistent, not just with my level of play, but just even my demeanor when it comes to if, if something good happens or if something bad happens. This time of year, there's a lot of obviously guys moving around. It can be a really uncertain time for a lot of guys and families. How lucky do you feel, you know, especially coming up not as a high draft pick, not as, you know, one of those top elite guys, to be able to have the security that you have had in Buffalo? You know, you haven't had to go into free agency not knowing where you're going to be in the fall. How lucky do you feel with that? I mean, I feel extremely blessed, you know. Um, I <laughs> I couldn't even see this far when I was a child, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a, it's a blessing uh, beyond words, so. I'm just thankful uh, that Buffalo has has took me in like this. And hey, Saren, you got me okay? I got you. Okay, awesome. First of all, congratulations. Um, was, Appreciate it very much. Yeah, was kind of just wondering, like, what was today, the last few days, like, for you? Like, did you expect this was coming? What were the phone calls like? Like, how exciting were all those moments? Uh, for the last couple of days, I, I was expecting a sign. Um, just a special moment, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm just just blessed and just happy to be here. And um, yeah, that's, that's really all I can say about it. 
Um, I don't think we've talked to you since Bobby Babich officially got moved to DC. What's it going to mean to work with him in that role? And, you know, what makes you confident with him taking over um, as defensive coordinator? Uh, I'm excited. You know, uh, I know Bobby knows football probably more than anyone I've ever met. So um, we definitely got the right guy, you know, so I'm just happy uh, to be to be working with him closer. I know we talked a little bit about just kind of, you know, what you want to see out of the team big picture, but do you have different individual goals this season now that you've had this extension or how do you approach kind of like the individual aspect of it? To be honest, I mean, I'd say I just want to continue to play at a high level for sure, but also just being uh, a more vocal leader, uh, trying to help other guys get better. Uh, I feel like that's going to be something that I'm looking forward to this year, whether it be in OTAs, training camp, or the season. Uh, just trying to bring guys along as fast as possible and uh, just continue a winning culture around here. How do you measure that when you're trying? It's a little less tangible about like bringing other guys along. Like, mm -hmm. How do you kind of see if that's working or not? Well, first of all, under whether understanding the defense, I feel like that's a big one, uh, how fast, like, maybe a newer guy comes in, understanding the defense is a, is a huge thing. And not, if I could do anything to help that, I will. Um, secondly is your skill set. Um, just basically fine tuning and doing what the coaches want you to do as far as on the field and, and continuously working on your skills, whether, I mean, we got a long time, not a long time, but a good amount of time until uh, the season starts. So just making sure throughout that time, we're honing in on our skills. Awesome. Thanks, Taryn. Congrats again. Thank you. Hey, Taryn, congratulations, as everyone said. Um, curious for you, there's so many guys, Dion just got extended last week as well. There's so many guys that obviously there's a priority on the draft picks, keeping them, reciting them for a long period of time. What's that like to be part of a team where it's like all these guys that you got drafted with, guys like Josh and Dion, to have them for this period of time and be able to kind of like build that culture? Like, what is that like about this team that kind of prioritizes that? Um, it's special. Um, you know, uh, Bean wants to keep his guys around, you know, the guys that he drafts, he wants to keep around. And um, I love that about this place, you know, um, not other teams have that same culture. So it's just something that I feel like guys are attracted to, whether it be free agency or not, that it's more of like a family that when you're here, a lot of times you're here for, for a while. Yeah. What is it like, I guess, kind of ask about obviously being, you know, getting this extension and staying in Buffalo, but I guess, is there any, like, do you take a second at all to reflect like on your work paying off? Like, is there, do you like, I don't know, is that, what is that like for you? Like to get to this point where you're a second extension in the NFL, like, what does that feel like? Uh, man, uh, I would just say it's a blessing. Like um, I, I definitely reflect uh, continuously throughout the season and it's just unreal to me sometimes when when I look back and and now I'm here so it's just it's just a blessing and I've reflected so much in the past so sure. much um one last thing for me obviously talked a lot about the changes this off season, all that kind of stuff but what has it been like I guess with the guys that are coming back the veterans like Matt and you know, all the guys around you really that are still staying and especially Ed and guys like that. Have you guys been talking this off season, like about what, you know, the mentality is, or has it kind of been like, even though guys are departing, same old, same old, like what's that kind of been like this off season? So uh, we've far? been, I, I've definitely uh, had conversations with Matt. Um, just basically just making sure that we're doing everything we can to get our bodies healthy, get ready for uh, basically OTAs coming up. And then after that, during the season. So just making sure that, that we're on the right track. Cause I mean, it doesn't just start, when the season starts, it starts, I mean, pretty much in April. Thanks so much, Taryn. All right, thank you. Hey, Taryn, congratulations. Um, I think it, it, uh, it, you've been asked about uh, some of the guys leaving, but what's this free agency been like for you, um, kind of watching, you know, and waiting to see what's going to happen in, in the secondary there? I think it's for most of your career, everything's been pretty steady, but um, – might look a little different here. Um, it was uh, it was definitely hard to see uh some of my longtime friends uh go, um, just move on, and I'm I'm sure they're gonna do some special things where whatever their role is, wherever they're at next. Um, so that was tough. Um, but I mean, I just know that I have to step into a new role as far as uh, leadership goes, and just making sure that that I'm presenting myself the way I'm supposed to and, 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 and leading by example 
and making sure I'm not only leading by example, but using my voice as well. Did you, could you kind of feel some of the moves coming or is it kind of a surprise for you? I mean, I was surprised. I, I have no idea like what the uh, mindset of the whole organization is. I, I, I just kind of stay in my lane. Um, do you, do you get any updates? You know, do, is there any contact letting you know what's going on from anybody with the organization? Um, with guys that they're, they're going to sign or guys they're looking at or anything like that? Or is that a surprise as well? Uh, I mean, it depends. Uh, it depends on if maybe I have a personal relationship with uh, a guy uh, outside of that, that, who's not on the team, who's maybe looking to be on the team. Um, but no, I'm not really involved with the other the other discussions. I think Micah kind of told you that the secondary was going to be yours, you know, somewhere towards the end of the season. Um, you know, what what's that like, kind of getting that endorsement from him and I'm going to guess you probably didn't anticipate it happening so quickly, but um, here we are. Yeah. Um, I would just say, I mean, he, he's been a, an incredible veteran uh, for me that I've been able to watch over the years and he's just helped me, uh, helped me become the player I am today. So just, just getting that, getting that endorsement from him is, I mean, it's everything. Uh, I mean, players always want uh, respect, especially from, from older guys who they respect a lot. So I'm just, just thankful he uh, looks at me that way. All right. Thank you. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Darren, big money chops. What's up, my guy? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Man, man, did you ever think when you woke up this morning that, you know, that this would be, you know, actually happening for you? I mean, this morning, yes, I did. Uh, the last <laughs> couple of days, last couple of days, uh, we've definitely been been trying to get to this point. So, like I said before, man, it's just it's just been a blessing, and I, I'm just just so happy to uh to to move on. You know what I'm saying? I'm not thinking about being signed no more. I'm ready to 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 play ball and and get better this off season. And when it's time to play, be ready. Absolutely, and I know. Hey, you're locked in now, so you got that sense of stability. You don't have to worry about thinking about going somewhere or just that that thought process, right? But you yeah. know, to lose guys. Such as Tredavious and 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 Pro and and Micah, you look around now. You're the elder guy, so yeah. you know, how are you going to you know take what you learned from those three guys to help the remaining guys that's going to be with you on that back end now? Ah uh, man, I, I would say like I said before, it's just really staying consistent, and not only with the work that I put in, but as far as like bringing guys along and maybe I have to say something, maybe I might step on some guys' toes if if that needs to be. That needs to happen, you know what I'm saying? But I'm willing to do what it takes to win. So whatever it takes to win. So whatever that means, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. Who was the first uh who was the first guy on the team to congratulate you when they heard the news? Who was the first guy on the team? <laughs> Matt, Matt called me, uh T B messaged me. I mean, it was a it was a I mean it was a lot of guys. It was a lot of guys. So I, I it was a lot of guys, so <laughs> mainly the whole defense, pretty much for sure. So it's just I'm excited to, to to be with them guys again. What is it like to be a guy from Weber State and now that you are the highest paid slot corner in the league? What is, what does that mean to you, man? Again, I I could not have seen this far when even my first year in the league I couldn't see this far. You know what I'm saying? So it's just I just remember having a dream of just wanting to be in the league. And I just feel like God has give, given me an abundance of so much more, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just so thankful for that. And yeah, I just want to continue to, to, to keep balling. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Hey, happy to have you here for the next duration of this thing. And yeah. you already know what time it is. Go yes, time. sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Appreciate you. Hey, good afternoon, Teron. George Radney, Challenger Community News. How you doing this afternoon? I'm doing good. How you doing? Great. Congratulations on the new contract. And I'm wondering if, if the Bills have they talked to you about maybe moving into one of the, into the safety position uh, uh, for the upcoming season? Any positional uh, changes? Not, 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 not right now. Uh, as of right now, I'm a I'm a nickel. <laughs> you okay? You're still yeah. a nickel. And what what is it like that a team? Uh, Still, uh, that you only play with one team. That's now now nowadays most people are 
are not can can't say that that they still with the team that they started out with. I mean, it's it's special. Uh, I don't take that for granted at all. So I'm just uh, it's just a blessing, you know. Uh, I'm just thankful to still be here, and I want to stay here. So, yeah. All right, great. Well, hey, congratulations on the new contract, and I look forward to seeing you at tra at training camp. All right, thank you.